to get a high performance and a happy team, the six principles I deal with are sound leadership, because you've got to lead from the top, lead by example, shared goals, so the team know what you're heading towards, rules of the game, so we know what the culture is and what's acceptable in the business. And of course, an action plan. You need to know what you're going to do and who's going to do it. I also love support risk taking, because I think if you start to challenge too, that's when you grow and develop rather than staying the same. And of course, 100% inclusion is critical. You need to involve the whole team so they're engaged and feel part of the business. When we talk about sound leadership, you've got to have a strong leader. Like a pilot or a ship captain, you've got to have someone who's in control. But they've got a really solid backing of a whole team just to get the plane in the air, let alone once, once it's there. And the same with the ship. So that whole team works together towards, but it needs to be led by that strong leadership. And in strong leadership, you need someone who has shared principles, who understands what's going on, but also they've got a lot of empathy. So they bring out the best in their team and they're really inclusive. They also don't take take all the, the um, ego or the privilege of, of success. They share it with the team too, so it's really fair and it's encouraging. I'll give you some good tips there to actually try and excel in these areas too, starting with leadership. You know, the leader's got to have that strong empathy and they need to make sure they bring out the best in their team. Now, they do that by, in fact, the good CEOs, they spend most of their time working on their team development and delegating and getting to know their team. I know when I've been in that role too, I spent most of my time actually walking around talking to all team members. Even, and often they said to me, they'd never spoken to even the managers or senior people in some areas. And it was so nice that people were coming around asking about the, what they were doing, what they liked about it, and also, what they could do to change it, what would make the job better, what would be more efficient. And just by asking those questions, people love to be asked. So that sound leadership flows through to all levels. To keep your TV gay, it's really important, I believe, to not, not just keep them happy, but delight them. Now by delight them, I mean do things that aren't expected so that the team are a bit surprised and doing things that their other friends are in other businesses are not doing. If for example, it might be you know, to get people along early in the morning and have a coffee before they start work, get some great croissants in, which would cost nothing, but if that increases the productivity because people get there earlier, that's so much more beneficial to the business and it's something they don't expect. It's the same with just doing drinks. Don't make drinks every Friday night because for a start, most people want to get away. They don't want to hang around Friday night. So do it Thursday night when it's probably not as important to get away and do something different. You know, get some pizzas in or do a barbecue or, or do something that they don't expect. That is just a, something to delight them. Mm -hmm.